have a new segment here that I'm creating. <laughs> it is called Plausible Deniability. And I want to give credit where it is due. This was an idea that I cooked up in tandem with the guys at ESPN Radio in Minneapolis. The show is called Mackie and Judd with Ramey. And the basic idea of it is that you make a prediction, some sort of a hot takey kind of prediction, that you sort of really believe to be true, although you recognize that it is a tad outrageous, but it is called plausible deniability because you don't expect to be held accountable for it a little bit later. I understand. I'm making up ridiculous rules, but what the heck. So here we go, guys. Here is my plausibly deniable hot take. Tom Brady will play in a Super Bowl again, and Bill Belichick will not coach in one. That is my un un acknowledgedly hot takey belief that I, I actually believe to be true, and I, I will defend it. Go ahead, Nick. I, I see the look I on love, your face. I love the idea of this segment. This is a great idea, but it's a bad place to start because you, Greedy, are a master of logic and reason, and you just go to the basic logic and reason, and, like, Bill Belichick is getting older. That does not make him a worse coach. Tom Brady is getting older. That does make him a worse football player. I think it's more likely that if you're going to pick one of these two, Bill Belichick has, has a better chance of rebuilding that team in the AFC, in the AFC East, which no one believes necessarily is going to be super competitive anytime soon. He has a better chance in the next five to eight years to make it back to the Super Bowl. Tom Brady himself says he only has two years left in the NFC that I think is pretty tough, particularly the NFC South. So, Swagoo, you, you and me, right? It's, it's Belichick over Brady. I'm 100% with you, Nick. I'm, I have deniability that I heard G say that um, because <laughs> Bill Belichick obviously will coach much longer than Tom Brady will play quarterback. And regardless of who you think is responsible for getting to Super Bowls and winning them, obviously Brady had to execute and Bill had to put him in a position to execute. But Bill Belichick could be in another Super Bowl based on everything that we've known historically about his ability to coach at an elite level. Now, gee, I get it and I understand it, but don't call that radio show no more. <laughs> Let me say this. <laughs> Let me say it this way. This is not in any way to discount the genius of Bill Belichick. I believe he is the greatest football coach on any level that ever coached. I will say, however, that if you look at the way they have drafted, slash he has drafted, the last few years, you could also make an argument that Tom Brady has been pulling off miracles taking that team where it has been the last few seasons. They've done a terrible well, job of putting together yeah, pieces I on offense. I think they are very, very far away, and I don't know exactly how much longer that's going to go. Now, do I believe Brady has five years left? No. But I think his team, the team he is coming to this coming season, has a puncher's chance of getting to a Super Bowl, and that's what I'm hinging it on. Yeah, you're right. I think that this team has a chance. And you're right that Bill Belichick and Tom Brady, Bill Belichick the coach and Tom Brady the player, have really come out and made Bill Belichick the GM look a lot better. Because if you look at his draft history, it's not all that impressive compared to other dynasties that have been around. So I think you're right. I don't love him as far as making decisions in the draft, but he's been able to scheme around all that stuff. And I don't think, I don't see a reason why that should stop going forward. Understand you don't have Tom Brady to pull out miracles like they do in that Atlanta. Oh. I'm done. What you got, Swagoo? Go ahead, Swagoo's hot his hand up. <laughs> uh, he's he's he maybe not in the draft, but he's been phenomenal in free agency, guys. Right. Like when we think about the guys that he's been able to acquire, just take Stefan Gilmore, for example. And another thing, like it ain't normal for you to have the greatest of all time on your team. Like, Bill Belichick is recovering from losing one of the best tight ends to ever play, one of the best receivers to ever play in the quick Antonio Brown picture that was had the ability to be taken, and he's lost the greatest quarterback of all time. So is the stack is the chip stack against him? Yes, but Bill Belichick will figure out a way to build the chips back up again. I just want to explain again. That's why the segment is called plausible deniability <laughs> because it's something I kind of believe, <laughs> but I am absolutely not willing to be held to when we can, when all of this ultimately plays itself out eventually. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.